Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about building setbacks and I'm going to explain what they are and why they're important. And I'm also going to walk you through a quick example so you can actually see how these building setbacks are applied to a lot. So what are building setbacks and where, are they, where do they come from? So your local zoning code will have established building setbacks for different uses throughout your city. So for instance, residential and commercial and industrial uses, they'll all have different building setback requirements. And the zoning con code controls the use and development of land and buildings for the health, welfare, and safety of the community. So a setback is the required minimum horizontal distance between the front, sides, and rear of the lot to the building. Building setbacks are something to always keep in mind and be aware of because it can actually affect your property's value. For example, if setback requirements prevent a pool from being built on, on your property, this can um, prevent future buyers from wanting to purchase your property. So let's walk through this actual example so we can better understand how these setbacks apply to a property. So here we're looking at a single family house and this red line represents the property line. And here we have a sidewalk, we have the street, and here we have a side street. So this is a corner lot. And here we have another lot and another lot right behind. So this would be the interior side, and this would be what they call the side street side of the house. So for this example, this would be in a RU1 single family residential district. And let's take one at a time. So principal building setbacks. So we see here, front 25 feet. Now keep in mind that all these setbacks are minimum distances. So if you're over, that's fine. That's completely okay. So principal building setbacks, front 25 feet. So we look at the house and we see from the property line to the house, there's 25 feet. So perfect. Interior side, seven and a half feet. So again, this is the interior side because there's a lot right next to it. And this is seven and a half feet. So good to go. Rear, 25 feet. So we see from the house to the property line, there's 35 feet. So again, we're okay because it's over that minimum 25 feet distance. And side street, 15 feet. So this is a side street because there's a street here next to the lot. So the minimum side street requirement is 15 feet. So this is okay. Now let's look at this requirement, accessory use setbacks. And this applies to utility sheds, gazebos, and other small structures usually. So the setback requirements here is a minimum distance of 75 feet from the front. So. If we can see here, there's not an actual dimension to the shed, but you see here from the property line to the pool, which is this line right here, there's 75 feet, so this is more, so we're good. Interior side, seven and a half feet. Rear, five feet, so good. And then side street, again, this would be your side street dimension, and obviously this is more than um, the 20 feet requirement. So now let's look over here, swimming pool setbacks. So from the front, 75 feet. So from the front, we have 75 feet to the pool. So great. Interior side, 10 feet. And that the interior side would be this side. And we have 23 feet. So perfect. And the rear, seven and a half feet. Great. And side street, 20 feet. So here we go, 20 feet. 
So as you can see from this example, building setbacks can greatly affect what you can build and where you can build it on your lot. So it's something that you always want to keep in mind and be aware of. And violating setback provisions can lead to legal action against a property owner. So this may include fines or orders to remove non-compliant structures. And property owners who desire to build within a setback might be able to apply for a variance, which is a special permission to depart from the requirements of the zoning ordinances. However, these are usually only granted to cases of hardship. So I hope this information was helpful and if you have any questions and or comments, please leave them down below. And thank you again for watching and take care.